I'm Ray Otis, and I'm here with you to explore the songs and personalities of the great sounds. The greatest hits of the last 50 years over the United Stations Radio Network. Teresa Brewer is our feature guest this week. She'll be with us all through our show to tell us about her hits and her career. Feature guest Teresa Brewer was typecast in music for a time after her first chart topper. When I uh, had Music Music as my first hit, I was sort of like typed. And after that, uh, they didn't think I could sing anything else. So I was really stuck in that uh, groove for a while until uh, Bob and I married, actually. And uh, he started to introduce me to all these great jazz players and get them to record with me, which I am so grateful for. We'll hear one of those great jazz players later that her husband record producer Bob Thiel brought into Teresa's musical life. But right now, here's that first big hit for Teresa. Your guest Teresa Brewer began her recording career on London Records. She tells us about her first recording. It was called When the Train Came In, written by, I think it was written by Jack Please. And a man wrote a song, I think was on the other side of it, and I don't know where that came from. But uh, Music Music was my third record for London Records. And the first two, it was a man wrote a song, and When the Train Came In. To meet you Like I never did For anyone before 
Now it's fair to see you wanted me to meet you Cause your letter said you love me more and more But I guess someone was sending for salons All my waiting was in vain Because that choo-choo Was bringing you to someone else's arms Bringing you to someone else's arms That trade was bringing you to someone else's arms To someone else's arms Was bringing you to someone Teresa Brewer doesn't like to see yourself sing. On television, it is. Uh, I just see all the little uh, things I do wrong. And I thought I was the only uh, nut that did that until I heard many people in the movies, I mean, big, big stars who say that they never uh, go and see their movies because uh, I think uh, it could be a little detrimental because you look and you see everything you do wrong and you try to correct it the next time you're you're doing a TV show, and then you're thinking so much about correcting everything that you lose the naturalness of your performance. So it's better not to look at it. Well, in 1953, Teresa didn't have to look for faults in this big hit, Ricochet. They warned me when you kissed me, your love was ricochet your lips would find another and your heart would go astray I thought that I could hold you with all my many charms but then one day you ricocheted to someone else's arms and baby I don't want a ricochet romance I don't want a ricochet love if you're careless with your kisses find another turtle dove i can't live on ricochet romance no no not me if you're gonna ricochet baby i'm gonna set you free i knew the day i met you you had a roving eye i thought that i could hold you what a fool i And like a rifle bullet, you began to ricochet. And baby, I don't want a ricochet romance. I don't want a ricochet love. If you're careless with your kisses, find another turtle dove. I can't live on ricochet romance. No, no, not me. If you're going to ricochet, baby, I'm going to set you free. When you announced our wedding, you made me mighty proud. I whispered to us company, but you preferred a crowd. You buzzed around the other girls just like a busy bee. And when you finished 
buzzing cousin you buzz right back to me and baby i don't want a ricochet romance i don't want a ricochet love if you're careless with your kisses find another turtle dove i can't live on ricochet romance no no not me if you're gonna ricochet baby i'm gonna set you free Feature guest Teresa Brewer isn't much of a fan of Teresa Brewer. I never listen to uh, many of my records, hardly ever. But uh, that's uh, one song that I can listen to and enjoy it. I don't, you know, like when I saw myself on television, I look, used to look through my fingers. I couldn't watch myself on TV. I can't, uh, I don't listen to myself uh, on uh, records. But that's one of the songs that I can really sit down and listen to and enjoy so much. So I hope that the people get as much enjoyment as I do out of my one record. And that song is Accentuate the Positive. You got to accentuate the positive Eliminate the negative and latch on to the affirmative Don't mess with Mr. In-Between You've got to spread joy up to the maximum and bring gloom down to the minimum and have faith a pandemonium's liable to walk upon the scene to illustrate my last remark jonah in the wind nowhere in the ark what did they do just when everything looked so dark i mean they said we'd better Mr. In-Between. <laughs> 